Over the past few months, we have been working hard to develop a powerful new tool for texture pack making. It'll both increase the speed at which packs are made and make it more accessible to a new audience. Let me show you how this works. To download, simply visit the link in the description and press this blue download button. When you launch the program for the first time, it'll require an internet connection to download the night theme. Another thing when you launch it for the first time is Windows will think it's a virus. You're just gonna have to believe me when I say this, but it's not a virus. So just click this Run Anyway button. Upon opening the program, you'll be greeted to this screen. I'll be going over it, what everything does. The program has two modes to choose from, Light Mode and Night Mode. The Credit tab has all the contributors to this project and how they contributed. Click on the blue part of their names to access their channels. The Help tab leads you to a Google Doc containing all the information found in this video as well as a more detailed description as to how everything works. For Splitter, simply select your input and output folder as I have already done and press Start Splitting. It will create a new directory with all the game's assets already split into individual PNG files. Pre-rotate all texture sprites automatically rotates texture sprites which have been set to be rotated in the game's plist. As you can see, many of the sprites are now rotated to be right side up. This makes them easier for editing. Now, Offset Nullify is much more complicated than this and requires a tutorial on its own. The basis of this is that it is a way to eliminate the need to plist manually ever again. Now if you notice here, you'll notice that some of these sprites are a lot larger. This is because the sprite offset is calculated into the size of the texture file. Merger combines all the split assets into a new game sheet. I highly recommend you leave the width and height the same and turn on automatically adjust result game sheet dimension. As you can see, we have a new file. Which has been split and reassembled automatically. It is also worth pointing out that this is the offset nullified game sheet. And regular game sheets will be much smaller than this. Porter automatically converts packs into a lower graphics setting so everyone can enjoy them. I recommend using splitter and automatically adjust result game sheet dimension. You can also port directly to load graphics if you so choose. As you can see, everything is now in the load graphics setting. Randomizer swaps file names to produce interesting results. Here's the seed option. You can either put in your own seed similar to Minecraft or leave blank for random. As you can see, this game isn't what it used to be. And that wraps up Texture Manager. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channels and join the Discord server in the description to both download and receive news and updates about many future projects. Thank you.